Hi, I'm Marty from Transport Safety Victoria. Sadly, every year we receive reports of recreational boats involved in fires and explosions. This summer, we're urging boat owners to take a few precautionary steps to ensure the safety of their friends and family. To help spread this message, compliance officers from TSV will be out on the water across the state paying particular attention to the boats we know are at a high risk of fire. Last year, we experienced significant increase in the number of fires and explosions attributed to petrol powered boats. Commonly, these incidents occur when electrical and mechanical components become worn and fuel vapour is ignited by a spark. The consequences are tragic. In many cases, passengers, including young children, have sustained serious injuries. Preventing fires is not difficult if you take the maintenance of your boat seriously and follow a few simple steps when refuelling. On inland waters, we see all too often boats that have been modified using regular car components. Working on boats is serious stuff. Leave it to the pros. Boats that are left unused over the winter months are a major fire risk. So make sure you get your boat checked by a local marine mechanic and be safe on the water this summer. Have them pay particular attention to ensure that the fuel hoses are tight and in good condition. If they're starting to show signs of aging, have them replaced immediately. Your life is worth a lot more than a few dollars. Once you get to the water, check to make sure that the engine compartment is free of fuel vapours and ensure that the engine blower or ventilator is running for a few minutes before you start the engine. An engine blower is a must on petrol boats. They are virtually standard on newer boats, but if you haven't got one, get one fitted by a marine mechanic. If you are refuelling, make sure that you follow a few key steps. Refuelling during the day is one of the most likely times for an engine fire. They are. No passengers permitted on board during refuelling or restarting. Turning off the engine and electrical equipment before refuelling. Don't overfill your tank and clean up spills immediately. Ventilate the tank and engine compartments after refuelling. Don't start the engine if you can detect any fumes. Remember, it is an offence to have people on board the vessel that is being refuelled or restarted. There are good reasons why this law exists, so make sure you follow it. Enjoying boating on Victorian waterways can be a great day out. Don't let your boat go up in smoke.